winters for you. Better to die than face my lords. I hope my Magister Magnus forgives me. For so long, I looked to him for guidance, for order. If your honor is slow, a true lord cannot forgive you. They cannot. Huh. Now I will turn my gaze to Warden, Tiwar, and Shunor. I will continue to turn until I find some forgiveness. You will spin and drill yourself to an endless bottom. We honor your type, Pagan. We strive as you strive to achieve the perfection of the Ancient Ones. Pagan? To be Pagan is perfect. sweat and toil to reach this moment. The Ancient Ones lap at my sweat now. That war sweat the Roman gods hate so much, we long for. This god or that. A good feast with fresh battle milk on your brows is not something you will ever taste again. Choke on my bones.
all of these men of God, festooned in gold and silver. It is enough to make one blind. We are blind of now. Lanius was our only king. He saw straight and fought alongside Arturius. We have been blind ever since. wish you were a raider, a dringer. Yes. Farbel, Salt Cloven. I was a monk. I should have stayed there. Did Saint Chad die with his axe in his hand? Saint Chad will be revered for avoiding the axe. I wish I had done so myself and not taken a path full of violent honor. The old gods will fade from our sight in time. God forgive me for I have sinned. What's this? This is a mere moment. No one will remember it. No one. Not your name, nor mine. It all ends up the same. Regret torments you. My only regret is losing to whatever you are. You 
reek of fading glory. I served the true gods, the old ones. To be killed by you holds honor. Killing holds all glory. I used to lie down and pray that the leaves would cover me. That I could drag them over me like a blanket and join Jarnunos in a bed of leaves. Took me in, stranger, with a song. The sound of Odin stomping on your bones is the only song you hear. Bow to this, but you will not unearth us all. You will not dig deeply enough. We are both a clot and cancer. We sit heavy in water, and yet we spread like a river's current. Are you well? Why would you ask such a question at such a time as this? Beneath your words is something of a size unknown, a mystery. It lurks behind every frail word from your mouth.
my battle kennings have worn thin. I am no longer the reed among shields, the glimmer blood, the hallowed skull crack. The scourge of swan roads, the iron throng, the lender of silver gelds. I only wish to be a freebooter, someone who writes their own destiny. Be glad you head to Valhalla with a poem on your lips. I should talk to Hytham about my...
I crossed the broad sea for you, Gorham. Are you not flattered? Wait, this is not the whole of 500 doors. This is not the Rock of the Fallen. Where are the women on the winged horses? Where are the choosers of the slain? My blood enemy! This is Niflheim, the hell of mist and cold. This is where the faithless dead come to die again. This is where ghosts fade to mist to be forgotten. Your meddling has doomed us all, crow of battle. More lies from a liar born. Now speak the truth. What brought the Order to this place? To free a goddess. A creature of power and light. Buried by the Jotna in ages past. A pity, Gorm. You will not meet her now. feeling. Unearthly, what was Gotham digging for? Something deep inside this cave? Love should know his tormentor is dead. I owe him that much. in London. He took his time. They loved him, and he loved them. They lived freely. We came to see him for a scrub. Rats have a certain freedom, but they feed on shit. It's a coward's freedom. A Valhorn for the vanquished.
No sunlight reaches where you are going. May you bathe in serpent skins. Your name, Fraunhard. Quick the dead, whatever it may be, is stained forever. My name is Horsa. I left silver in the mouth of my home. Please say that it is spent well and frivolously. the trolls take you. I have seen a crown on a cleaning basin. There it was. I stole it, ran with it, hid it. Now maggots feast on it. I am certain. Let them rule old Albion.
came creeping. He tore a man in two. Then Wooden took nine glory twigs. Is this a prayer, an offering, or a final vestige of your oath? <laughs> Only a charm I never finished. Now you die. My... My sword is lost. Floating down a creek. I shall follow. Till I dance again. Or oh, drown. Thing. And the families who fell by the Order's command? Were they not worthy of love? You are a Dane. How can you speak of the value of a life? All our ranked as less than the axe to you. Not true. I see honor in many people. Many places. You have proved here that your compassion has a hard and brutal limit. These hidden ones, is that who you slave for? I slave for none. I'm scrubbing England clean of its filth for the safety of my people. Ah, uh, listen. Do you hear? The excuses of a mind enslaved. <laughs>
pleasure with the silver I received from the Order. I shared it too, with many in need. Don't be blinded by the gleam of your bloodlust. Shared silver always comes at a cost. What of it? I forged good from what you call evil. Lives were improved. Lives worth more than the silver that paid for them. I do not regret the lives lost for the charity gained. Archbishop never suspected my heresy. I kept secrets as I gathered believers. I appeared so pious my eyes bled for him. But I've never felt as much love for his god. Not like I do the old gods. The true gods. Our ancient creators. Your life was a lie, you mean. You threw your honor into the ocean. When I told the Archbishop my true belief, he was horrified. So I silenced him. That silence comes for you now. first man I killed for my order, I cried and wept after trying to hold back the tears. But I told myself, I am merely acting upon a foretold destiny, navigating the whim of greater gods. My actions are simply pebbles. Pebbles that wash away in the surf as harmless as dust. Pebbles were once bedrock. As for you... building a boat to carry my family to safety one day. And what of the orphans you left behind? Do they get a boat? A brigade of bastards. They are the only ones left ruling England. My people were of the Wiccan kingdom. Now we are ruled by Christ-beaten bastards.
I serve the young Athelred. He will rise one day. He is no Elfred, from what I hear. I lie to everyone, and they will never know. They will tell stories of me as a good man who served his lord. Your Huga walks with a new beast. I wish my life had been a carnival of drinking ale and pissing. It could have been, I'm sure. No, we have not reached such a point. I used the order to live a life of ale drinking, but the price of my ale was murder. Sad, really. You won. I can see defeat. When Scops mention me, they will sing of my conquests. Cowards do not get sagas. I am no coward. In a long-lost battle for Wessex, I was the victor. The Scop could speak of that time. Focus on my lost honor. No, I'll leave your reputation as it is. Here, in the blood-blackened mud. Everyone he was Christian. He was not. He was one of us. He only wanted the silver and the swords for his men of Mercia. And you have kept his tradition going? Without flinching. Without hesitating. Offa would be proud of me. You must have seen 100 summers, old man. It feels thus. Turn to the Orther. It keeps people well placed. It is not truth, but true power. You desecrate the very purpose of life. No. 
No, no. I place power on power. The great becomes greater. You will see. man brings you biscuits. Do you give them to your children? I would not let good food go to waste. I would let my children starve. A serpent's gift will always end in malice. Sweet from evil remains sweet, even if it crumbles quickly in their hands. Rest easy, Reeve. Your time has come. Yes. Now I will be judged at the Witten of the Gods. To Helheim with you. Aye. Even Helheim needs a Reeve. there? Yes, hello. I, I do not mean to intrude, but I am looking for someone. And who would that be then? I... I do not know exactly. Well, that would be why you ain't found him. But you're free to pass the time just here if you like. Thank you. Cakes, love. Do you know soy cakes? I do. I enjoy them. They're small things, size of a lumpy fist, so they'll bake fast. Keep your eyes sharp. And the butter? Do I baste them? No need, love. We we'll leave the butter for meal time. I look forward to it. Right then. I'll leave you to this. If you need me, I'll be doing the washing up next door. Quite a step down from your former work. Lord. As their guest, I volunteer to help with the daily chores. They offer me a bed. I tend the cakes. Do they not feel strange giving orders to their king? 
What do they know? That knowledge would benefit no one. I read your message. You went through a great deal of trouble to obscure yourself as this poor soldier of Christ. As I remember, you even sent yourself one of these letters in Winchester. A clever touch. The Order wanted me dead. I had to be careful. You said you knew nothing about the Order then. Pled ignorance. But you knew everything. Their names. Their schemes. Would you join me for a walk? You look well, Eivor. I am. The wars have ended, and my settlement thrives. The wars have not ended. You have simply stopped fighting. But men are brewing plots in mead halls and bedrooms. You will see. And how are you, Alfred? Getting used to the idea of being unremarkable? I am well. Better than I expected. In this exile, I have found a somewhat nourishing peace. Each morning, I am awakened by the sun and growling cormorants. I bathe in the chilly water of the marsh. I eat from shrubs and drink from buckets. It is a good life. Simple. Blessed. I've never been so far west. I find it quite peaceful here. Calming. I have traveled a long way to hear one name, Alfred. Who is the Order's Grand Magister? Tell your shadowy friends that England is swept clean. Your work is done. You? Grand Magister was not a title I desired. It passed to me on the death of my brother. From my father before him. Defilers of God's majesty and grandeur. I was their master, and I loathed them. With Goodwin, I set a plan in motion to destroy the Order from within. But my troubles with the Danes delayed that plan. But your trouble with this Dane is what led to their demise. You are Norse, are you not? You have a good ear. I owe you my thanks, Eivor. For that, I give you this. The key to my study. That you may better understand the good you have done. With the order all but destroyed, you have made room for a greater idea. One to take its place. A universal divine order. Inspired by God for the betterment of man. With a poor fellow soldier at its head. You have saved England. Whether or not that was your intent. Now let England save you. England is no more, Lord. You are the last of her kings. And yet you have no kingdom. Look around you. God's works are wondrous. They cannot be ignored. Nor resisted. In time, all those who accept God will flourish. And all those who defy him will fall away. Should you remain in England, you too will one day be her subject. Oh, bloody crumbs! The cakes are burnt! Where is that man? Young man, where have you gone? Damn. That may have earned me a night of washing linens. I do not know if we shall meet again, Eivor. God willing, we will. As one lord to another, perhaps. I'm coming, my lady. I'm here. Alfred gave me a key to unlock his study. Somewhere in Winchester. Oh dear, oh dear, look at them little balls of soot. Good lady, forgive me, I was lost in thought. No matter, just let them cool and we'll begin again. Direct me and I will obey.